So you're back in the 500, not under ideal circumstances, but walk us through how that unfolds when there's an accident and they're calling you up, hey, what's going on, can you get here? So I was up at Road America. Uh, um, I was at the circuit Monday to Thursday last week, but headed up to Road America to help a couple of sponsors out that do a bit of uh, historic racing. I was watching the qualifying on live stream and obviously saw the accident, knew that it was serious, had a very good idea that Sebastian wasn't going to be able to continue. And then started heading back to Indianapolis knowing that I was going to be heavily considered to get the seat for the reason that three of my four IndyCar races in the past have been with Dale. The last 500 I did with Dale, I ran very minimal laps. I had to start 33rd and we were able to get halfway through the field before the race ended with the unfortunate incident in the pit lane. So whoever was going to replace Sebastian was going to get very limited miles and had to start last and that's something that I'd done before and proven that I could handle. You know, I, two years ago I was I think fourth on Wednesday practice when I did my first day, left for four days to do a sports car race, I was fourth again on Monday and uh, started yeah, last and, and got halfway through the field. So just calculated it, surely enough I got the call to meet with Dale and Sunday morning around 9am and it was given the go ahead. At the same time uh, Geico had to approve me as, as a driver and a positive representative of their brand being the primary sponsor on the car and uh, my relationship with Jimmy Vassa um, certainly came into play there as well because I did my first 500 with KV Racing and, and Jimmy could vouch for me um, since Geico had been involved with them at KV. Uh, so that was uh, certainly a great um, opportunity to get as well in addition to jumping in the IndyCar, representing such a big corporate company at the biggest race in the world, biggest race in the US. Um, it's it's a big, big opportunity for me. So certainly looking to make the most of it and, and giving the car the best possible run uh, for Sebastian and the sponsors. So how hard is that? You're just jumping in on Monday. So everyone's qualified, they've been practicing and Here's basically a new cart, you know, that went from the street setup to the oval setup. How difficult yeah. is that? Um, yeah, look, I, I had a lot less time, but to be honest with you, I was I was flat, and running nearly 220 uh, within two or three laps. Um, yeah, found myself out there with Hinch and Alonso the moment I got let loose with the rest of the pack, and yeah, it came back to me like it was yesterday two years ago was yesterday and um, it was no issue for me and that was why I guess the, the team called me up for this responsibility. Someone needs to do a professional job and be able to handle this situation of getting absolutely minimal practice and, and getting down to business and um, yeah it was fine for me so just draw off experience and yeah please please to be here um, but certainly mixed emotions with the reasoning why I'm here and hope Sebastian's back as soon as possible. So do you think something like that would be more difficult say next year when here you have a new car that everyone's trying to figure out? Uh, look, I think that's more on, on the engineering side. Obviously, uh, if this was to occur next year, hopefully it doesn't in this way, but someone will have driven the car and developed it, and uh, it won't be the first oval outing this Indy 500 event that the teams will do with the new aero package. So, like anything, there'll be learning to do for the teams, and. Um, 
I clearly am walking into a situation where the team has the engineering, you know, 99% figured out, and um, I'm going to have a solid car, maybe not the fastest car because of the backup cars situation, uh, but I'm 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 in an, an, in a better position than maybe at least at least a third of the field, I would say. So we'll um, look to try get in the top half of the field and as close as we can to the top 10 and that would be like a win for us. So then carb day practice, what's your plan? Our plan is just simply to set the car up to be handling as well as it possibly can over speed. So we may not look so great on the t speed charts, but if I'm happy with the way my car's handling, um, that'll be mission accomplished. For the reason that I'm starting 33rd, um, I'm, my car's going to be exposed to probably the most extreme scenario that an Indy car gets exposed to. You're on a super speed speedway with 32 cars ahead of you so yeah you've got to get the thing to handle and allow you to stay in the throttle um, and not be wiggling everywhere and under steering out to the wall so yeah just try and get it to handle and run behind cars pit stop practice it'll be very much the same for everyone but for me certainly we're we're not looking to have terminal velocity just handling one final thing you mentioned being in the back what what recommendations, any advice do you have for Zach Veach for your guys' last row party tonight? <laughs> uh, just, just enjoy it. Don't take anything to heart. Um, the, all the festivities for the Indy 500 are an amazing experience when you're a rookie. I, I felt emotional at, at the banquet at the end of it when it was the official end to the Indy 500 experience. Um, because it, it's just such an amazing experience, especially when you've had to work hard for it and your opportunity has come overdue. And in Zach's case, it's the same as mine. You know, he's had to sit out and watch some of the guys that he's beaten in Indy Lights move up and live their dream. And, you know, you have doubts in yourself and you worry, is it ever gonna happen? And out of nowhere, just finally a few things come together and you're in the race and, and, and you're living your dream and, and you've worked so hard. You've worked overtime, maybe harder than most people have and it just makes it that much more special. So I'm sure the whole experience for him is going to be very similar to what it was like for me.